editor and contributing author of 60 Years of Independence, Achievement, Challenges and the Road Ahead, Dr. Burhindradat Tawari reveals how important energy is to this country's future. Whether it's oil, natural gas, or sun, wind, or biofuels, a country cannot run without energy. Electricity runs on energy, and an AI-driven economy is going to demand more and more energy. So our challenge in energy is not just oil, natural gas, renewables, or Venezuela natural gas, or Exxon, although all of these things are important and will help. Professor Roger Hossein, another editor of the book and a contributing author on energy, reveals some of the insights in the publication. I looked at the amount of, of oil and gas we produced since 1908, and we produced about 11 billion barrels of oil and gas equivalent. The economy benefited from because of the 11 plus billion barrels of oil and gas equivalent. But the way forward simply may be summarized in two simple formats. One, improve the reserves less external debt balance and improve the non-energy fiscal balance. Professor Hussein chooses a starting point for his contribution, the launch of Atlantic LNG. The economy started off in 1996 with Atlantic. I, I'm starting it from that point. It would have moved to a point such as B with the, with the gas boom. Uh, from the gas boom, we would have moved to a point such as C with government intervention. But government intervention also brought a plethora of problems, including a substantive contraction in the labor force participation rate. He also provides possible solutions for the road ahead for the economy. We would have reached a point such as D, and then the economy would have contracted in two forms. One, because of the perverse impact of the Venezuelans in, uh, as they impacted the structure of production and then hence of exports, and in terms of the decline in the availability of natural gas. We are really in an economic space at a point such as E, but we really should be in a location such as F. And the main thing about F is that it requires more non-energy export production than anything else, more non-energy export production. Minister of Planning, Economic Affairs and Development Kennedy Swarat Singh says this is an important book for society and explains why it is important to him. This reading allows me to take stock of my assignment regarding human capital, human capital development, climate change and renewable energy, economic transformation, policy development and the like reassesses these variables to some degree and ensure that the goals and emphasis of what we do are purposeful and effective. In addition to energy, the publication offers research on agriculture, education, economics, and a variety of other areas from a number of contributing authors. I am Terri Ann Brown Campbell, and this is Evolving Energy.